Hello and welcome to Megor's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will describe the hardware for the Megor MTO210 transformer ohmmeter. Let's get started. The MTO210 transformer ohmmeter is a line operated field portable instrument designed specifically to measure the resistance of all types of magnetic windings. It tests transformers, shunt reactors, rotating machine windings, and performs low resistance measurements on connections, contacts, and control circuits. The MTO210 has automatic features such as demagnetization of transformer core after test, safety discharge on test completion, accidental lead disconnection, and power loss, and finally monitoring the make-before break for tap changer transitions. The MTO210 has a resistance measurement range from 10 micro ohms to 2000 ohms. It can apply up to 10 amps of DC test current and it has an open circuit voltage of 40 volts DC. More information can be found in the product datasheet on the Megar website us.megar.com. Now let's look at the panel controls of the MTO210. First is the input AC power module. The module has an integrated switch, fuse holder, and input filter module. The voltage, frequency, and power requirements are mentioned above the module, whereas the fuse type and ratings are mentioned below the fuse holder. Next is the earth ground lug. This connection is used to connect the MTO210 to station earth for safety purposes. It is recommended that the MTO and transformer under test be connected to the station ground while testing. Further, we look at the emergency shutdown switch. This switch will disable the power source and automatically discharge the transformer. Further is the warning beacon connector. This connector connects to the warning beacon to provide a visible indication when testing is ongoing with the MTO210. Next is the interlock connections. These connections are used if additional safety is required while testing. If this interlock connection is open, the unit cannot initiate tests. If the interlock is broken during a test, the unit will automatically shut down and discharge the transformer under test. Next is the output current connectors. These connectors inject DC power into the transformer through the MTO leads. The connections and cables are capable of supplying about 10 amps of DC current. Further are the input voltage channels. First is the input voltage V1. These connections measure voltage generated across the transformer winding under test, which allows the MTO210 to automatically calculate the resistance of that winding. The connectors are used as a path for current to flow during discharges and should always be used in conjunction with current leads for maximum safety. Input voltage V2. Connections perform the same function as V1 connections to measure a second transformer winding under test. Next, we look at the current set switch. This switch is used to control the test current applied to the transformer. It has discrete current levels at 10 milliamps, 100 milliamps, 1 amp, and 10 amps. The symbol represents the maximum output level of test current. Next is the remote control switch. This connector is used to interface with an optional remote switch and can be used for testing on load tap changers. It can remotely start the MTO test and sequentially store multiple resistance readings as tap positions are changed. Next is the break before make indicator. This will indicate disruptions in the make before break transitions while testing on load tap changers. Now we look at the RS232 connection. This connection is used for printing or transferring data from the MTO to a PC. Next is the data output mode switch, which has four modes, print and save data, save data, print data, and display data. Next is the function mode switch. This switch has a test mode, a storage review mode, a set time and date mode, and set date format mode. Now let's look at the buttons on the front panel. 
First is the test button. When pressed, the MTO will begin injecting current into the test specimen. If the current is already flowing, pressing the test button will stop a test and the test light will illuminate during the test. Next is the discharge button. When pressed, this button will stop testing and discharge the transformer. The indicating lamp next to the discharge button will illuminate while discharging. Next is the demagnetization button. When pressed, transformer demagnetization will begin. The demagnetization indicator lamp to the right will illuminate during this demagnetization cycle. We now move on to the return button. When pressed, the unit will acknowledge data entry and display messages. In the test mode, it will save the data presented on the display. Next is the left navigation button. This button is used to print test results to the RS-232 port when in the storage review mode. When the MTO is in ready mode, this button is used to change the sensitivity of the make before break current transition detection. Next is the right navigation button. When pressed once, it will allow deletion of the last recorded result in memory. When pressed twice, it will enable the user to delete all results in memory. When pressed thrice, it will take the MTO210 out of delete state. In ready mode, this button will turn the V2 channel display off or on. This concludes hardware review of the Megar MTO210 transformer ohm meter. Visit the Megar YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.